Hello everyone. In this video, we will be learning a new method for solving the static force analysis of mechanisms that is known as principle of virtual work. So according to this principle of virtual work, the statement is like this. The work done during a virtual displacement from an equilibrium is equal to zero. And this can be explained with the use of this figure. So here you can see a slider crank mechanism where crank is this one, the connecting rod and slider is at this initial position which is under equilibrium conditions and it is acted upon by some external force F. So this slider will be moving towards left. So it is having an infinitesimally small displacement or it is known as virtual displacement dx. And at the same time, this connecting rod will be transferring the forces through it. And this will be resulting in the rotation of the crank from its initial position to this position. That means crank is also undergoing an angular displacement, which is also infinitesimally small, that is d theta. And to bring it back to equilibrium, you will have to apply the a torque of torque in the opposite direction to that of this angular displacement. So according to this principle, the work done during the virtual displacement from the equilibrium is equal to zero. So work done will be associated with these movements. That means here slider is getting moved from its initial position to final by this displacement dx under this action of force. So there will be some work involved that is this force into displacement. This displacement is happening completely along the direction of applied force. So dot product is not required direct product of force and displacement is only required and associated with the angular movement and this torque applied the work associated here is torque into d theta so according to this one you can write the expression for the principle of uh, virtual work so total work done is zero for this virtual displacement then you can write the total work done equal to zero and this work done is associated with this linear displacement and angular displacement and you can write it as f into dx plus torque into d theta total work done equal to zero and if it is happening over over an uh, time of dt that means this infinitesimal displacements are occurring during a time period of dt then i will be differentiating each term of this equation with respect to that dt so f into dx will be becoming dx by dt plus t torque to be applied on the input link or crank into d theta by dt equal to zero so if you are observing this dx is the displacement which is happening for the slider so this dx by dt can be then considered as the velocity of the slider plus torque into d theta by dt is the rate of change of angular displacement of the crank and that can be considered as the angular velocity of the crank. So you, this equation will be becoming f into velocity of slider plus torque into omega crank equal to zero according to this principle of virtual work. So this can be simplified to evaluate the equilibrium torque to be applied then torque will be equal to minus f into this velocity of this slider divided by omega of the crank so this is the equation that you are obtaining by applying this principle of virtual work so here uh, you need not draw any free body diagrams uh, or to calculate the different forces transmitted here you can directly apply this principle of virtual work and you can evaluate the torque to be applied so no graphical methods are required for this one so you need to anyway you need to calculate the velocity of slider for that you will have to velocity construct the velocity diagram so this torque can be evaluated using the expression and here some negative sign is coming and the negative sign is indicating that for equilibrium this torque t must be applied in an opposite direction to the angular displacement so this is the principle of virtual work explanation with reference to a slider crime mechanism now we will be applying this principle to solve a problem from this static force analysis so here we have a problem for the static force analysis of slider crime mechanism same problem we already solved earlier using this uh, graphical method of force analysis by drawing the free body diagram and you can uh, find the link here as a pop-up now so here we will be solving using the uh, principle of virtual work so anyway the first step will be to construct the configuration diagram using the given details so that which will be required for constructing the 
velocity diagram so here uh, crank is having a length of 100 mm so this is oa 100 mm at 120 degree so you can use a suitable scale one centimeter will be representing 100 mm so that can be drawn up angle of 120 then you can draw the horizontal line where the line ab will be cutting this horizontal line at 450 mm from point a so you can make an arc then you will be getting point b then slider will be coming here and this will be the connecting rod on the slider an external force of 2 kN is acting so here we have to find the input torque t to be applied on this link oa we are not knowing whether it clockwise or anti-clockwise we will be evaluating that using the principle of virtual work so we have already seen torque equal to minus f into velocity of slider divided by angular velocity of crank for this applying this expression we will have to construct the velocity diagram for this mechanism so here you can see the mechanism here first i will be naming the required points o is the pivoted point about which crank is rotating so o is a zero velocity point a is the end of this crank and a b is the connecting rod where point b is coming at the end of the connecting rod and also at the center of the slider and the slider is reciprocating through this ground and g is a point on the ground so here first you will be noting the zero velocity point for drawing the velocity diagram here o and g are the zero velocity point so first i will be marking the zero velocity point on this one so zero velocity points are o and g a small letters next uh, here the angular velocity of crank will be assumed as omega and whenever the slide whenever the external force is acting on this one slider will be moving towards left and this uh, crank will be rotating towards uh, and a clock and suppose the omega is the angular velocity of this rotation then we will be used with uh, considering this omega we will be constructing the velocity diagram so first we will be considering the vector velocity of point a with respect to o you are knowing that this is equal to length oa into omega of crank which is omega itself we have assumed and length oa is 100 mm so you can write it as 0.1 omega so vao vector magnitude is 0.1 omega since omega is not given so we will be taking the variable as such and now we have to represent this vector on this velocity diagram so uh, magnitude is this one and its direction you are knowing the direction is perpendicular to ling a so in this direction it will be coming so you'll be needing a scale for drawing the velocity diagram so here point 0.1 omega long vector can be represented by 2 centimeter uh, in a similar way 1 centimeter long uh, vector will be representing back a quantity or velocity of magnitude 0 0.05 omega in a similar way we can find the or we can convert the thing that you are measuring from the velocity diagram so anyway i will be drawing a 2 centimeter vector to represent this 0 0.1 omega and that is perpendicular to this link oa that will be the vector v a o or point a with respect to so perpendicular to this direction you can draw this uh, vector and that will be of 2 centimeters so that will be coming like this so this point is a so next you have to mark the point b and that b is coming at the end of the connecting rod so you can have one velocity vector velocity of point b with respect to a and also b is coming on the slider which is reciprocating over the ground so you can have another vector velocity of b with respect to g so this velocity of b with respect to g is actually the actual velocity of slider which we are requiring to substitute in the uh, equation based on the principle of virtual work so vbg is a linear velocity so its magnitude is unknown but you are knowing the directions this uh, direction is along the it is moving along the horizontal line so this is uh, horizontal you are knowing the direction so by considering this one velocity of b with respect to g already point g you are having here so you can construct this uh, vector vbg or the direction like this that is passing through this point so i'll be uh, constructing that one so this line will be passing through this point and now i will be constructing the next vector that is vba you are having uh, the magnitude will be coming like this ab into omega ab that magnitude we are not having right now but its direction is perpendicular to ling ab so this will be making use to complete the uh, velocity diagram so perpendicular to ab will be coming like this so you can transfer this line to this point a so this direction will be coming like this so i can 
complete the velocity uh, diagram so this will be coming perpendicular to link ab and this will be meeting at this point so this point is b now you can complete the velocity vector so this vector will be coming like this which is actually representing vbg and this vector will be coming which is actually representing vba so anyway we are requiring this vector so we, because that is actually the velocity of slider so you can measure this velocity of slider from this velocity diagram so if you are measuring you will be getting a 1.5 centimeter vector you will be obtaining so this velocity of slider is represented by 1.5 centimeter that means here you can convert to the scale so 0.1 omega is represented by 2 centimeter that means if so we are calculating the velocity of slider so velocity of slider is we are actually converting using the scale so 2 centimeter is representing 0.1 omega then 1.5 centimeter will be representing how much that will be evaluating so if you are solving this one you will be getting this one as 0 0.075 omega so this is actually the velocity of slider so now you can evaluate the torque to be applied on this one so you can use the principle of virtual work earlier we have obtained the expression for evaluating this torque so this torque is equal to minus this force acting on this mechanism into velocity of slider divided by the angular velocity of the crank so this is equal to minus force is 2 kilonewton into the velocity of slider is 0 0.075 omega divided by omega of crank is the variable omega as such. so here omega and omega will be getting cancelled and finally this will be getting minus 0 0.15 kilo newton meter this will be the torque to be applied on this um, uh, crank for bringing it back to the equilibrium condition and we have obtained using the principle of virtual work the same uh, problem we already solved using the graphical method also so i'll be showing the solution that you have obtained so this is the same problem that we have solved using the static force analysis by the graphical method first we have constructed the configuration diagram then we have identified the type of members whether it is two force three force or two force and one torque then we have completed the free body diagram of this links and finally we have evaluated the torque to be applied uh, from the input link uh, two uh, then we have obtained the torque as this 153 kilonewton mm or which is actually representing the 0.153 kilonewton meter so such a tedious process were involved in this one by drawing the free body diagrams and evaluating the forces in all links and finally calculating the torque but in this one using the principle of virtual work we have easily obtained the value of this one so that is actually the principle of virtual work and how you can apply for a slider crime mechanism to calculate the uh, torque so hope you understood uh, this problem and thanks for watching